everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek. Today I'm going to talk about the NBC original television series by the name of Revolution. I'm going to discuss my thoughts and opinions upon episode 16 titled The Love Boat. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? So pretty much what we have going on in episode 16 of Revolution on NBC is we have, you know, Tom Neville last time we learned in the last episode that Tom Neville and both Miles Matheson now have to work together. And the reason they have to work together now is because Tom Neville tells Miles Matheson's character, Tom's all like, Tom says to him, you know, we have to work together because if you do not listen to what I say, I will take the troops away from you. So pretty much Tom Neville has full control over the situation, at least you find you think that at first until you see the end of the episode. Just so you guys know, spoilers coming up. So if you don't like spoilers, go ahead and pause. Otherwise, keep watching. So like I said, Tom Neville tells him, you know, hey, you're going to listen to me, you know, and if you don't, it's my way or the highway, and I'm going to take away, you know, the, the Georgia Federation troops that you now have in your possession, which means that, you know, he'll have no men to fight Monroe, which means in the, in the end, Miles Matheson would fail in fighting, he wouldn't win any more wars that they have been winning previously. So we have that thing going on, and the main just... And episode 16, titled The Love Boat, for the NBC original television series by the name of Revolution, is we also have this dr this disease or drug by the name of the anthrax. And there hasn't been a lot revealed about this anthrax disease, but this disease kills you. And this there's this doctor that's actually that Monroe that hired, aired, and he kidnapped his family and said, Hey, I kidnapped your family. If you want your family to stay safe, you have to make this anthrax disease for me. So this entire episode revolves around... Uh, Tom Neville and then Miles Matheson's character and the rest of the Rebel Fighters uh, and Georgia Federation people are trying to find this, this uh, man who is actually uh, making the anthrax disease. Uh, so like I said, spoiler is coming up. Uh, so what ends up happening is they end up taking the uh, man that has the anthrax and they start, you know, the Rebels, not all the Rebels, but Miles Matheson and Tom Neville's character, they start to play a little rough and not everyone on the uh, Rebel crew likes the way they're playing. They pretty much, t you know, beat the crap out of the guy and say, hey, you know, we're going to kill you if you don't tell us, you know, what we want to know, you know, about the Monroe Militia. So, you know, you know, we have, uh, what's this, Miles Matheson, we have him playing very rough. Tom Neville always plays rough, so it's not any different for his character, though he has been pretty, in this episode, not, not throughout the entire episode, but he was nice a few times to Charlie's to not Charlie's character, but the Miles Matheson character, he offered him a drink. Towards the end of the character, though, he, you know, he's back to his roots of the self, you know, beating people up and just being the sinister and deceptive guy that, you know, Tom Neville always is. Uh, so, in this episode, uh, Charlie actually ends up locking uh, Miles Matheson in a room because Miles Matheson wants to beat the guy up. And she says, you know, this isn't the rubble way. We should not be doing this. So she makes her own little, you know you know, expedition to try to save this this uh, doctor that's making the anthrax, so that way he can be with his family. So we have Jason, and I believe that's his name, you know, the guy that has a crush on her, and she's got a crush on him. Uh, looks like they're going to make that more relevant in the next episode. Uh, but Charlie and Jason, they, tr they, they, you know, they find the boat that they're on, you know, try to get his family. Well, in the process of doing this, they put Tom Neville to sleep. Well, Tom Neville wakes up and puts a gun to Charlie's head, because uh, previously in the episode he hit her. Well, anyways... Uh, Char uh, what's his pilot? Miles Matheson ends up getting out of the actual room that he was in and actually ends up stopping all the commotion. And then all of a sudden, some people that checked their boat earlier to see if there was anybody, anything suspicious going on, end up shooting them. And then uh, they end up escaping on the boat, leaving Tom Neville on the back on the boat that was behind. Tom Neville is extremely mad. He was trying to, you know, having this whole prideful, because he's a very prideful person, this whole struggle for power situation going on between both Miles Matheson and Tom Neville's character. So we have that going on. And towards the end of this episode, actually, uh, Tom Neville is pissed. He's PO'd that the Rebel crew, you know, Miles Matheson, main guy, you know, left him on the boat. So he comes back, you know, hours later, Miles Matheson wondering how he got back, and you know, Tom Neville says, you know, oh, you know, most of my crew got killed, but I'm back. And, you know, and what ends up happening is, you know, Tom Neville realizes that Miles Matheson isn't going to work for him. And finally, Miles Matheson realized that what he was doing was wrong, you know, torturing that guy, threatening to kill him. That was the wrong thing to do. And I figured that would happen towards the end of the episode, you know. Uh, that part was predictable. A good thing, though, because, you know, because Miles Matheson, you know, he used to be the real deceptive guy, but throughout the years he's changed, so it wouldn't make any sense if all of a sudden he changed back. So around the end of this episode, like I said, you know, he finds out what he was actually doing wrong, and uh, Tom Neville realizes that 
he's not the one in charge. He's, you know, he can see that he's not very happy with it. So I can only wait to see that plot point come in the future when Tom Neville just lashes out on everyone. Because he already kind of did in this episode. Uh, also, other things we have going on. I know I haven't got to my thousand opinions yet. Uh, but there are other things going on also. So also, we also have, you know, Aaron and Rachel both going towards uh, the tower in this episode. Uh, they go to a place for food. They don't offer them any food. They end up trying to steal the food because the people don't give them any because they don't. They're, they the food that they give them won't be able to go to their kids because they end up giving it to them. Well, uh, both Aaron and Rachel end up stealing the food. The guy comes after them. They end up sh uh, end up shooting them, and it ends up leading to uh, them locked down in like this uh, van looking uh, you know truck thing with the doors on the back of it, you know, and these guys come in shooting, uh, they end up killing them, and ends up leading to, uh, Rachel's knee is pretty much, like, broken and hurt, pretty much, and she isn't able to go any further, and we end up finding out something very strange that isn't fully explained in this episode, but I'm sure as the series progresses, you know, with only, uh, four episodes left, I'm sure they'll keep explaining, uh, or at least explain somewhat, and then leave the rest for season two, premiering in September of this year. Rachel tries to convince Aaron that he should go alone, and there's one reason he should do that, because Rachel's hurt. That's one reason, but the main reason is because, you know, way back in the first episode, you know, he was given that flash drive that temporarily turns the power on wherever, you know, in that certain area that that little flash drive thing is in. Well, there was a reason that, uh, that you know, her, the, you know, Charlie's father gave that to him. We have a, you know, there's, you know, we thought it was just, you know, being, you know, just this was the guy he trusted, but there was a reason. He opens up this journal that apparently is going to turn the power back on, and for some reason, uh, Aaron's picture, a younger version of Aaron's picture, is in this book. And then towards the end of this episode, we actually end up seeing something very disturbing, and we don't actually get to see it, but we see Grace's character. We haven't seen her in forever. Well, she's working down in, like, a warehouse somewhere, and we see an elevator being lowered with this man in it, and when the elevator comes back up, blood is everywhere, and the man is gone, or otherwise, you know, dead, and blood is just everywhere, Grace sees what it is, but we don't, so I'm thinking, they created something deadly, and we have no idea what that is, and it's down on, you know, level 11 of the warehouse they're in, so we have that going on, so they're making a lot of interesting things in Revolution. Anyways, that's pretty much the main just of the NBC original television series by the name of Revolution for episode 16 titled The Love Boat. Overall, my thoughts and opinions on this episode, another great episode. What I loved about this episode so much is that we saw a different side of Tom Neville. You know, he's always deceptive, always a sinister character with just that, you know, that crazy smile of his, you know, where he's smiling, but there's always, you know, a deeper side to him. We saw a different side of him. You know, it was really cool seeing Tom Neville work with Miles Matheson character. I love this whole rivalry, because, you know, I never expected Tom Neville to go in this direction. So I love this whole rivalry thing that Miles Matheson and Tom Neville are going through, you know, this whole struggle for power. I'm liking that plot element a lot, so I'm hoping that'll be used more, and I'm sure it will as the, uh, you know, the Revolution series progresses. Uh, so I like that a lot. Uh, I also like how, you know, at first, you know, we have Miles Matheson's character, he's all, you know, because at the beginning of, this, beginning of the episode, I was wondering, you know, why is he acting like this? Why is he back to his old ways? And I like how throughout the episode, he comes to realize what he did was wrong. A nice little sentimental, a real nice plot element. And then I really enjoyed the ending where we have this whole intriguing, very interesting moment, and I'm wondering, you know, what the heck killed him? You know, what is that? And I am also like the whole disease, the anthrax thing, very interesting. So this episode had great acting, really great dialogue by Tom Neville, always stills the show. Uh, Miles Matheson was also fairly well in this episode also. Uh, Billy Burke, who plays him, really cool. Charlie was stellar also, she always is. Uh, and what this episode had most about it was had a lot of interesting and intriguing moments that, you know, left more questions but made me all the more curious to watch more. Uh, anyways, that's pretty much the gist of my opinions for episode 16 called The Love Boat for the NBC original television series with the name of Revolution. As always, series comes on every Monday night, 9 o'clock central, 10 o'clock for everyone else. Uh, only, like I said, only four episodes left. Next week's episode is episode 17 titled The Longest Day, May 13th, 9 o'clock central, 10 o'clock for everyone else. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my page below, and I'll be seeing you guys later with more videos by Cinepeed Geek.